Okay, hey everybody. Um, <clears throat> wow, it's been a long time since I've done a lupus video update. Um, if you can see, I look like hell. <sighs> a lot has been going on. Um, I got my insurance, so I've been finding out stuff that I didn't know I had or maybe thought I had. and We might have cancer again, so that's scary. Um, I'm just going to focus on the last three weeks. I know I look like hell. I need to get my roots done. Um, yeah, I just look like crap all swollen because I've been on copious amounts of steroids and even injecting steroids at the ER because, okay, I'm going to start out. Um, when it was three weeks ago today, I went under to have a procedure, endoscopy, um, where they put you to sleep and go down and see what's bothering you in your esophagus, stomach, what have you. Because I've been having problems swallowing and um, <clears throat> spasms, like there's a growth or a tumor or something in there and it, it hurts so bad. It feels like you're having a heart attack immediately and you can't really swallow anything and nothing and you're just doubled over in pain through your back, up your neck, down your arms, face. And the only thing that stopped it was to, to drink something slowly, and it would stop the spasming. Um, so, they were going to just go in there and look. Well, they got in there, and <clears throat> it was, like, closed shut pretty much. You could not even fit, like, a normal pencil in my esophagus. And then, so they had to sh take a balloon down in there, I guess, and stretch my esophagus all the way open. While they were doing that, um, my body grew some kind of ring, a narrowing ring, you can see on the paper, of the esophagus, here, here, I don't know where, and uh, he was like, that shouldn't be there, you know, I don't know if they cut it out or stretched it out, I've heard two different things, I don't know, but I do know when I woke up from the procedure, like, my pain... 1 to 10, it was over a 10. I was screaming and crying my eyeballs out. Grabbing my throat and it hurts, it hurts. And the nurse kept looking at me, we were going, it shouldn't hurt. You should just barely, barely have a mild sore throat if that. And I'm like, it hurts, it hurts, it hurts. And I tried to swallow and it was getting stuck. And I was like, oh my God, what the fuck? And she, I mean, no pain medicine at all. Nothing through this whole procedure. Just fine. Like, I have my own pain medicine, but... It wasn't touching this pain. They should have gave me something, but I thought, well, hell, maybe this is normal and that nurse is, maybe I'm overreacting, but I didn't think I was because it was fucking loads of pain. It was all over, but it mainly was right here, actually right here. And so I stayed with a friend that night and it got progressively worse, like really, really bad, and especially when the sun went down. And the weirdest thing is, I'd swallow even my spit, and it would get stuck and slowly go down. And then if I tried to burp, because they fill you up with air, I couldn't burp, you guys. I could not burp. It was weird. And it hurt so bad, the pressure. And if I would get a little one out, it was just spasm of pain. I'm like, <laughs> like that it was awful. And the doctors called to check on me, and I told them. The hospital called to check on me, and I told them that, too. And they're like, you need to get straight to the ER. They're like, do you have a fever? I'm like, yes, I do. Only, it was, I think it was like 100.7 at that point. Um, and I was like, oh, I'll just give it one more night. Maybe it's just sore throat. Well, I woke up the next day. It was worse, you guys. And I was like, what the fuck? And on top of that, it had triggered a lupus flare-up. I was feeling weak, tired, just everything to do with lupus, and it was like, oh, God, it's just feeling so bad. So, um, I called my doctor, because I was, at that point, coughing up blood, and I called my doctor, and they're like, get to the ER now. <clears throat> so, I went, and they did a CAT scan, where I had to drink some like three gallons of barium to see if they cut me and it leaked through my esophagus. I don't know. 
Long story short, um, well, I was waiting a while, and then the nurse walked by, and she said, oh, they seen something on your scan. Um, the ER doctor's talking to your surgeon, and the, um, oh, God, the guy that reads it. Why did I just forget this? I know all medical terms, pretty much. The radiologist was reading. They all were on through of reading it. So, I was like, oh, fuck. My worst nightmares come true. Because when stuff gets stuck in my throat, it gets stuck, like, right here in this area. Really. But the pain was right here. And so, okay. Well, he comes in. He didn't tell me anything. I guess he was scared, too. He just said, get back with your surgeon in a week. If it gets worse, go to your regular doctor, yada, yada, yada. I'm like, okay, weirdos. I'm going to give you some lidocaine for your throat. I'm like, Psst, whatever. <clears throat> so I go home. Well, then the next day, I wake up. And it's like a fucking train hit me. It's like, bam! I felt like hell. My throat was so sore. And this was a different sore. This was still very sore. This was sore right here. Like, I'm getting sick. And I never get sore at those. If I do, it's for like an hour or two. Because I had my tonsils stop when I was young. And I was like, what the fuck? And I felt horrible. I was going to lupus flare up. I um, was recovering from surgery where they botched it. And now I'm feeling sick like I got the flu or something. And I've never had the flu, y'all. Pneumonia, yes, but not the flu. And I only got pneumonia after lupus coming dormant. And I keep myself clean, you know, with hand sanitizers, cleaning the buggies if I'm in public, wearing masks at doctor's offices. <clears throat> but, so I just felt sluggish all day, and I was like, well, maybe it's just due to the lupus flare-up in this botched surgery. <laughs> no, girl. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. <sighs> By that night, it was getting worse. My fever was up to 102 point something, like 102.7. And the next day, oh my Jesus, fuck this sore throat. I didn't even care about that anymore. My whole body was in so much pain. My fever was spiking. I was taking my pain medicine, and I was taking ibuprofen and goodies powders rotating every two hours, try to keep the fever around 100, 100.2, 100 100.7, because... It was getting so bad. I was snotty, congested, wheezing, couldn't breathe. And I sat like that for a couple of days. And um, finally called and made a doctor's appointment because I was just delusional. I couldn't hold my head up, get out of bed. I couldn't eat, which I never hardly ever eat anyway because it hurts my stomach and it just, you know, I just don't feel good when I eat. So, <clears throat> I'm dragging on here so she said well maybe it's still you recovering from the surgery and your lupus flare up I'm like okay cool this is like one of the worst lupus flare ups I've ever had in my life I think I'm gonna go home and die I literally felt like that like when I go to bed I'm like this is it I can't breathe like I'm smothering I'm in so much pain, and I'm so fatigued, like, I'm going to die. I swear to God. And she told me, she's like, if you can't get your fever down to 100 or 99, in the 99 range, get to the ER right away, because you need to be admitted to the hospital. I'm like, okay, fine. Well, I skipped a day, because I was like, fuck it, I feel like horrible. <laughs> well, then, the next day, it got so bad. I was so delusional. Um, Kyle had a friend over. I went out and like jumped his ass because I thought he was talking about me and he wasn't. I started calling my dog my son. I it was I was running into the walls and um, it was horrible. And I just looked at Kyle. And said, I got to go to the hospital. Something's wrong. I, I think I'm about to die. And um, I get I'm still sick. And I get to the hospital, and I said, I don't feel good, y'all. 
and they took my temperature and it was 104.5 with almost 105. No wonder I was delusional, yelling at people, thinking my dog was my son running to the walls. I was like, ugh. <clears throat> I had been throwing up too, stomach aches and just, ah, oh, everything hurt in my body. And it still does. Like, my throat's still sore. It's gotten sore today. And I've been getting the lupus blisters are healing in my mouth and everywhere. But it was really, really painful yesterday. Joints today. Joints today. My throat hurts. And more swelling. And the <coughs> congestion in my lungs is like, <sighs> it's just so full. But I think it's developing into pneumonia. Which one of the, doc the doctors said that probably next with my lupus and I didn't get admitted to the hospital because here in Gilmer County we only have an ER you don't have a, a hospital and they could have transferred me to the next county but they didn't want to fool with it like go home go see your doctor again I'm like well, so she can tell me to come back here I mean y'all need to get this shit straightened out in Gilmer County so that's where I've been um I'm hoping I'm still going to make it through this I'm going to try to see the doctor this week even though we got a bunch of snow coming in overnight um so I do think this is turning into pneumonia okay another thing that happened during these last three weeks I went and had an ultrasound of my thyroid because it's been bad and I've been feeling a lump here that's not the only lump I felt I don't know if it's malignant or benign but they did see a tumor nodule something um on the back right of my thyroid and it is enlarged um no I haven't been taking my Synthroid and I told my doctor that because it's been making my heart just flutter real bad because I stopped it for a while and they put me back on 100 micrograms which is one of the strongest you can take so I'm going to try starting tomorrow but um now I've got to find a thyroid specialist and a surgeon I don't want it biopsied. I want the whole thing taken out because our cancer spreads in our family. As soon as air hits it, it spreads. My grandmother had th thyroid cancer. My mom did. My dad did. They also had lung cancer and kidney cancer and brain cancer. So I don't take it out. So these last three weeks have been hell. Like, I have been crying like a bitch getting that news because, like, I've already had cancer before. My body's too weak to fight this shit. And I'm like, I'm going to move to Colorado or California and do Rick Simpson oil and just smoke marijuana and not do chemotherapy if it comes down for it to be malignant and not benign. Because um, even after, if I get my whole thyroid removed, I'll still need chemotherapy. Which I was going to do the chemo pill anyway for my lupus. <sighs> I don't know. I do know my, my memory's gotten ten times worse since my last video. Um, one of my friends, he is the same way. We have the short worst short-term memory ever. <laughs> and it's embarrassing. But I've gotten to the fact now, like, I just go up to people, like, I've got lupus. I can't remember crap. I will ask your name probably five times in the next two minutes, and I apologize. Um, because that's just how my normal life is now. And yeah, I got all depressed and blah, blah, blah about everything. But with my son and his friends, you know, and I used to be all into the, the chakra healing and all this meditation and stuff, and it used to help me. And I got out of it, and I've been depressed for three years. I'm not as depressed anymore. I'm trying to be happier. Like yesterday, I went out and went riding um, through the mountains, through the woods and the creeks and stuff. Pushed myself to get out of the house um, to try to feel better and just to get out. And I tried to go home a few times, but I mentally made myself stay out. I've been sitting on the bed pretty much all day today, but, you know looking like this but I'm trying to make myself mentally happier because depression don't help and like I said I've been through hell for three weeks like I can't believe I survived this long with the botched surgery the lupus flare up 
the high fever, the influenza flu, what else? Oh, the thyroid uh, tumor lump nodge thing. I don't know. And my sore throat again. And my lungs not clearing up. <laughs> oh, and I know I look swollen and everything because I've been on acid of steroids. But in the last three months, this is also scary too because I've not been trying to lose weight. I'm glad I've lost weight. But I was, I think, three months ago, I was at 227 pounds. And I'm in the 170s now. Yes. My doctors keep looking at me weird like, uh, uh, why are you losing so much weight so fast? I'm like, I don't know. You tell me. Last time I had cancer, <clears throat> I dropped down to a size zero. I was so skinny, but I was really young too. I don't know. Maybe it's not cancer. Let's hope it's not. Positive vibes. Positive thoughts. <clears throat> coughing is great <laughs> but that's my update and like I said I'm trying to make a whole mindset positive change even though I've been dealt a shitty hand the past three weeks in news no I can take it like I used to <laughs> but I want to be like oh fuck it and yeah I've cried and I'll get mad again and I'll cry some more but then I'll just like I'm going to kick your ass you're kicking mine right now but I'm going to come back and kick your ass that is if I don't you lose my interest, my disability, because the government shut down. That sucks. I missed, um, I got my mail in late, so I forgot to go check my P.O. box. Missed my call-in appointment. They call me every two months to see if I'm still sick. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. Like, I got, you know, lupus. It's never going away. So, like, do your research or get a new job. Anyway. <laughs> Um, and so it, everything's just shut off on the first. I just got this, and I waited four years to get this, so I'm going to call them tomorrow and or drive to Gainesville. I don't care how far it is. Well, maybe not tomorrow, because all this stuff. I'm going to get it done for the first. And I'm babbling on. Sorry, I look like crap again, but, um, yeah. Uh, I'll do an update with you later on this week, because... I need to get my roots done, as you can tell, a different color. And I'm going to do an ombre hot pink, wide up on top, platinum blonde, and then ombre hot pink and bright bright blue. Because why not? Why not? I I mean, I don't care what people think. Like, I, I wear this in, in town with my Lucky Charm necklace. Mm, we got in Cali. The goat upside down, pentagram, whatever they call it. I love Motley Crue. And people think I worship the devil. No. I like this. This actually means like earth, wind, um, fire, water, like all this stuff. It believes in whatever you want it to believe in. And I don't believe in the devil, so therefore, whatever. Um, I just like it. I think it's pretty God, I got such ADHD, you guys. Anyway, how have you guys been? I hope you've all been good. Um, tell me some of your stories. Have you got the flu this year? Pneumonia? Um, have you been having flare-ups? If so, what? God, my throat's so sore. Why? Why is it starting up again? Pneumonia. Kick his ass? That's what I'm going to do. All right, no, tell me, because you guys, like, seriously, I tell you every time, you, you help me so much. You guys are so sweet and kind. Um, and I'm losing subscribers because I don't post anymore. And, and I keep saying, I will, I will, I will. And then I get sick and depressed and down, and I just don't even pick up my phone, so I'm sorry. Like I said, I'm trying to go back to the old way I used to be and be happy again. So, this, oh, I'm almost at 20 minutes. Sorry I'm rambling on. I love you all. Please um, tag me in a video that you want me to watch. I would love to hear your stories. Uh, so that, or leave a link so I can go watch it. And let me know how you've been doing down below. Or DM me. Um, anyway, I love you guys. And I'll um, catch up with you soon. Okay, bye.